All right, well, this is another tutorial on matte paintings, but this one is even easier. I'm going to use uh, Final Cut and Photoshop. And for those of you that don't have Final Cut, you can take this idea and basically convert it and use it to the program that you're using, okay? I'm, I'm going to make this as really easy as possible. Now, most all programs, Avid, Vegas, most all of them are going to have these capabilities, okay? So, uh, just take the idea and then convert it to what you are doing as far as what programs you are using in that, okay? So, uh, and I'm not going to use anything special. This is, the, this is the absolute basic idea on how to do it, all right? And this is very rough too, all right? So, um, a lot of you said that you don't have snow in that, so this time I just decided to do a street scene since everybody can relate to a street scene, okay? So, I went on uh, Google, I, I went on uh, the internet and I got this photo of New Orleans, okay? And this is the street scene. So, um, I then went outside, right outside my house, okay? And I took this video right here, okay? Of me walking and then putting my hand up, okay? Now, I did this because I need to, chances are I'm gonna have to resize this and I don't really have to worry about anything directly to the right or left of me, okay? All that's important is this immediate area, all right? And not only that, but I also knew that this street couldn't handle me doing, you know, a scene where I walk all the way down. This is, this will be used like in like an opening, okay? So I'm not going to use all of the street scene over here. I'm only going to, I'm probably going to cut it off right about right here because of the fact that my street doesn't go that far down, but the angle and that is really hard. So I'm only going to use about 10 feet or so of this, but you should get the idea. All right. So after I did this, then we need to bring this into Photoshop because we have to know the size and we have to know if this works or not. Okay. So for, for Final Cut, all we have to do is go to export, go down to use QuickTime conversion. All right. And then under format, go to still image. Okay. So we're going to capture this and bring this into Photoshop along with our photo of New Orleans. All right. And then you, and then you dump that into the folder and then we go to Photoshop. And here is our photo that we're going to work with. All right. And here is me, and that is the image that we brought in, all right? So what's basically going to happen is I'm going to use my eraser tool here, all right? But before we do that, I have to take our New Orleans shot and kind of... Uh, Go a little 50-50 because I have to shrink my, me down so I know the area that I'm working with, okay? So then we grab or highlight mine here, and, okay? And we're going to scale this down, all right? And you just kind of have to work with it a little bit. It might be a little hard for you guys to see on there. But basically, I'm just sizing this up according to this white vehicle here. All right. And I think... I think that'll do it. All right. So that is the area that we're going to work with, all right? So that, so then I'm going to bring this back up, so it's 100%. Grab our eraser tool, and what, and what basically you start doing is coming along here, and you're going to erase what you don't use, okay? Now, if you need help, 
All you have to do is bring the back down and then you know right, right where to erase here, okay? I'm gonna come up there and this building's gone. I'm gonna erase all the cars in front of me, erase all the buildings in back of me. We're gonna erase that flag and these cars going right up there and along the side of the building and up. All right, and we'll take care of those buildings. So this is very, very rough, mind you, all right. So we've basically done that. So we're gonna bring this back up. Now we have to take care of the sky, okay? Because the sky that I filmed uh, this morning and this, they don't match, all right? So I have what's called a magic eraser tool which will erase the color that I click on, all of it. You click on it, all, and that's all gone. All right, so basically what we wind up with is something that looks like this, all right? Now, this angle looks just fine, but this one, uh, it's kind of popping up here, so the angle is completely wrong, all right? So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go and skew this down, okay? And we're also gonna have to separate these because if I skew this side right now, that side will actually go. So we have to separate them by making a copy of this and a copy of this. All right, so then we wind up with this, all right? So I've, I, I've gone ahead, okay? And now this side is completely separate. As you can see, I can erase this side and that side will still stay. I'm gonna quickly go into transform, go to skew, whoops. Got to highlight the thing I'm skewing correctly. All right, come down here, go to skew. I'm simply just going to skew this down just a tad. Okay. So, all right. Looks like that. All right. So now this is back on, on track here. Okay. All right. Now we have to take care of the sky. All right. So, I uh, should also find out. Aha. There we go. All right. So then we have to take care of the sky. All right. So I have a, a, a sky here. Looks like that. And um, I used uh, my uh, uh, cloning tool here to, uh, to make some of the tree line here. All right. Then all we have to do Oops. We then bring our tree line down and kind of shift, shift a few things. This is what it's going to look like when we are done. Now, I've also added in down here a tad bit of snow because if we turn everything off, this snow piece stops. All right, and of course I, I want it to, you know, flow. So I added in by making a copy of this, putting it here and blending it in. So now it looks like it keeps going here, all right? So this is the scene that we're now going to work with, but I'm only going to pass over this, okay? So then you save it, okay? After, you no, know, you got the shadow right. You, you no, know, you've done the edges and this is all cleaned up. And you can pop this image in here and you don't see anything wrong with it. Save this, copy this, and then bring this into Final Cut, all right? Then, from here, we still have to shrink this down, okay? So, we blend the two together, okay? By then br br bringing 
both in and adjusting, and adjusting them so they look just like they did in Photoshop, all right? And the way that we do it is simply by grabbing another frame and shrinking and going, okay? And once you're all done, it should look like this, all right? So, uh, matte paintings. Um, this, th this is about the easiest way that I can think of uh, doing it. And um, I hope that uh, helped you guys out. All right, see you later.